in this video, I will give you an example of Control Flow to select an update in MySQL. Control Flow, you have to select when you have case based on different case when, for example, this case, you get the value length. When something, you get the length due to the calculation. When you then finally you use the end. Then end. Then you can select this one. For example, in this case, we based on a different last time column, we get a different value uh, output here. Now go to PHD by admin. For example, I will use the table here. So we have use label ID, username, password, email, last time. So first I try to convert this last time. This is a year a uh, date format. I try to convert this date format into term, spring term, summer term, and uh, winter term. So this is the term last time. Use date convert date first convert the date format. Then I extract months use months function to get a month. If months greater than equal one and smaller than equal four, that's a spring term. Months between 5 and 8 is a summer term. Months use the 9 to 12 is a winter term. So let's copy this one and say to my SQL. So I go to my SQL here. I clear this one and paste my statement here. Now I run this code. You can see here, I get a term. First is the summer term, next is spring, next is winter. You can see here, this is summer, convert to summer, this is convert to spring, this convert to winter. Now I try to do, I try to get the term put inside this column. So I can use this MySQL statement, update users table, set term. Now I can set term this one, I can use this case, term equal, now this case end, this is a control flow. So the case when months between 1 and 4, then is spring term. When months between 5 to 8, then summer term. When months between 9 to 12, is winter term. I use this control flow to update the column term. So I copy this one. So I paste this statement. Now I update user set term. So let's click go. You can see here three rows effect. Now let's go to browse to see this one. Now you can see here the term. This column is update. The term, this column is calculated based on this last time. This is calculated based on summer. This is spring. This is the winter. This update. So in summary, we can use control flow to select an update uh, in my scheduler to do a complicated calculation. Normally we can use the case and the end. The control for that case and end. We can use when. Then do the calculation of uh, based on the column. Then we can get a condition, get a value here. Get a value. This is a select. And we use update. We just uh, update the user set this term based on this case end. Of course, uh, we updated based on the this. I just update based on the same table property, not useful. But you can use the different table, then you can update uh, one uh, value in this table from another table. That will be very useful. Thanks for your watching.